the Arabian Peninsula, a vast expanse of history, culture and breathtaking landscapes, a land where the sun dominates, casting long shadows across the dunes, baking the earth and shaping life in profound ways. And water is more precious than gold. It's the lifeblood of the desert, a resource carefully guarded and deeply valued. Every drop is a treasure. Beneath the endless sands, a remarkable story unfolded, a tale of innovation, necessity, and the complex relationship between humans and their environment. Millions of gallons of salt water, an amount that seems almost unfathomable in such an arid region, not hidden treasure, not a source of life, but waste, a byproduct of industrial processes, were buried deep underground. Concealed from sight, a hidden consequence of progress. This wasn't a search for life-giving water, a quest to quench the thirst of the desert, but a bold act to dispose of a byproduct of modern progress. A solution perhaps, but one that raises profound questions. In a place where every drop counts, where water is a precious commodity, carefully managed and conserved, why would anyone bury water? Why choose to hide this resource beneath the sands, seemingly defying logic? The answer lies in the pressures of a rapidly changing nation, a country undergoing massive transformation and development, where necessity drives innovation, where challenges are met with ingenuity and bold solutions. Saudi Arabia's desert became the stage, the canvas upon which this complex environmental challenge was addressed. For an experiment in resource management, a large-scale undertaking with potentially far-reaching implications, one with consequences that may only be revealed over time. The long-term effects remain a question mark, a subject of ongoing study and debate. This project challenges our assumptions about what is possible, about the limits of human intervention. Deserts are not just places of scarcity, not simply barren wastelands devoid of resources, but also of hidden solutions and risks. A delicate balance between innovation and potential environmental harm. The act of burying salt water, this seemingly paradoxical decision, is less celebrated than building skyscrapers, less visually impressive than grand architectural achievements, but it's a testament to the kingdom's ambition, a reflection of their commitment to finding solutions, no matter how unconventional, to solve environmental puzzles to grapple with the challenges of waste management and resource scarcity in a rapidly developing world. It forces us to look beneath the surface, to consider the unseen consequences of our actions, literally and figuratively, to delve into the complexities of environmental stewardship and question how we handle the waste of progress. How do we balance economic growth with environmental responsibility? The story of Saudi Arabia's buried salt water, this unusual and thought-provoking endeavor, is a chapter in humanity's ongoing dialogue with the planet, a conversation about sustainability, resource management, and the future of our world. As climate change and resource scarcity intensify, as the pressures on our planet continue to mount, these lessons become ever more urgent. The need for innovative solutions and responsible environmental practices grows more critical with each passing day. The desert keeps its secrets, guarding its mysteries beneath the shifting sands. But for those who listen, for those who take the time to observe and understand, it offers warnings and wisdom, insights into the delicate balance of nature and the consequences of disrupting that balance. What happens when we try to master nature, when we attempt to control and manipulate the environment to suit our needs? And what price might we pay? What are the long-term environmental consequences of our actions and are we prepared to face them? So what did Saudi Arabia ultimately decide to do with all that salt water? that unavoidable consequence of turning seawater into a life-giving resource. The sheer volume of the brine presented a monumental challenge, demanding innovative and large-scale solutions. It wasn't the freshwater people rely on, the precious commodity carefully extracted and distributed to homes and industries. This was something else entirely. It was brine, a super salty byproduct, a concentrated solution of minerals and salts left over after the desalination process. This brine came not only from desalination plants, but also from oil extraction facilities, where water is used to force oil to the surface. The question was, how to manage this unavoidable waste stream responsibly? Simply dumping it into the Gulf, as tempting as that might seem, would devastate marine life, disrupting delicate ecosystems and potentially causing long-term damage. So, a new solution was needed, one that balanced the need for water and energy with the imperative to protect the environment. The stakes were high, demanding creative thinking and bold action. The answer? Transport and inject. Millions of gallons of brine were to be injected deep underground, far below the surface. 
This injection would take place far from people and sensitive ecosystems, in carefully selected locations within the vast desert landscape. This wasn't just digging a hole, it was a complex feat of engineering. It required advanced engineering, sophisticated drilling techniques, and a deep understanding of subsurface geology. The goal was to target secure geological formations, layers of rock that were naturally impermeable and capable of containing the brine indefinitely. The ultimate goal was to keep the brine away. It was crucial to isolate the brine from freshwater aquifers and the surface environment, preventing any potential contamination. Imagine Olympic pools filled with dense, salty liquid that gives you a sense of the scale. This was the scale of the operation, a massive undertaking requiring significant investment and logistical coordination. The project reflects a global dilemma, how to handle the waste, the unavoidable byproducts, from our thirst for resources and our ever-growing industrial activities. Deep burial was an attempt at environmental containment, a strategy to isolate the waste from the biosphere. It involved using the earth itself as a natural barrier, relying on the inherent properties of rock formations to prevent migration. Success depended on careful site selection, choosing locations with the right geological characteristics. It also required a thorough understanding of the geology, including the permeability and stability of the rock formations. The desert became a silent repository, a vast and seemingly empty space used to store the unwanted byproducts. It serves as a stark reminder of the trade-offs inherent in industrial progress and the ongoing challenge of managing the environmental impact of modern development. The journey of Saudi Arabia's saltwater is a complex and carefully orchestrated process. It's a story of innovation, resource management, and environmental stewardship, all playing out beneath the vast expanse of the desert landscape. It began at desalination plants, where seawater is transformed into a vital resource, and at oil fields, where water is extracted as a byproduct of petroleum production. At these facilities, brine, the highly concentrated salt solution, was carefully collected and prepared for its onward journey. This is a crucial step in managing the environmental impact of these essential industries. From there, a network of specially designed corrosion-resistant pipelines stretched across the arid terrain, carrying it across the desert, a lifeline transporting this byproduct to its final destination. These pipelines are a testament to engineering ingenuity, built to withstand the harsh desert environment. The pipelines lead to remote disposal sites, carefully selected for their geological suitability. At these sites, the process of deep well injection began, a method of safely and permanently storing the brine far beneath the surface. Powerful pumps, working tirelessly, forced the brine under immense pressure down engineered wells, specifically designed and constructed for this purpose. These wells plunged thousands of meters underground, reaching depths where the brine could be safely contained. These wells were meticulously lined with layers of steel and cement, creating a robust barrier to prevent any potential leaks into freshwater aquifers safeguarding this precious resource. The brine was injected into carefully selected porous rock layers, already saturated with saline water, ensuring no disruption to existing freshwater resources. These layers were capped by impermeable rock, a natural barrier designed to keep it contained for millennia. Before injection even began, extensive geological surveys and seismic studies were conducted, ensured the right locations were chosen, guaranteeing the long-term safety and stability of the disposal sites. Even after injection, monitoring wells continuously tracked the brine's movement and checked for any signs of leaks or unexpected pressure changes, providing an early warning system. The pressure of injection was carefully managed and regulated, a critical factor in maintaining the integrity of the surrounding geological formations to avoid fracturing the cap rock and compromising the containment strategy. This delicate operation relied on a deep understanding of geological principles, advanced engineering techniques, of the Earth's hidden architecture and the intricate interplay of subsurface forces. It's a feat of engineering, a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to tackle complex environmental challenges. But it's also a reminder of our responsibility to act as stewards of the environment when altering the subterranean world and the importance of sustainable practices in all our industrial endeavors. Out of sight doesn't mean out of mind. The long-term consequences of our actions must always be considered. Why go to such lengths to bury salt water? The answer? Necessity. Saudi Arabia's desalination plants produce vast amounts of brine, and dumping it in the Gulf would harm marine life. Surface disposal would ruin land, and evaporation ponds are impractical at this scale. Deep well injection offered a contained solution, keeping salt away from water and ecosystems. These projects also provided valuable data about the deep earth, informing future energy and waste storage efforts. 
Ultimately, it was a pragmatic response to a complex problem, balancing industrial growth, water needs, and environmental protection. Burying saltwater wasn't without surprises. Injecting brine could alter deep microbial ecosystems, shifting life forms we barely understand. Physically, the process might cause tiny, undetectable tremors as rocks adjust to new pressures. There's always a risk of leakage. If brine escapes, it could contaminate precious freshwater aquifers. That's why long-term monitoring is essential, acting as an early warning system. Each project deepens our understanding of the subsurface, refining models and safety measures. The desert becomes a laboratory, revealing the planet's hidden complexities. The impact of saltwater burial reached beyond geology. Local Bedouin communities and wildlife face disruptions from construction and new infrastructure. Even remote sites can affect traditional grazing routes and fragile habitats. Communication and transparency with locals are vital, as is respecting their knowledge of the land. With careful planning, the goal is to minimize harm, but the cumulative impact of such projects shapes the desert's future. Saudi Arabia's saltwater burial is a lesson for a world facing water scarcity. Desalination brings fresh water, but also creates waste that must be managed responsibly. The project highlights the need for integrated water management and long-term environmental stewardship. Geological understanding and constant monitoring are crucial. Out of sight isn't out of mind. Saudi Arabia's experience is both an example of ingenuity and a cautionary tale. As more nations turn to desalination, the lessons from the Arabian sands, planning, engineering, diligence and transparency, are invaluable. The desert's silent depths remind us to innovate, but also to respect the planet's limits. Our future depends on learning from these hidden stories beneath the sand.